Hey friends, this is Leo Chef again and today we'll be going on to some Primify Maths word problem solving and this is the comparison model start and end or start at beginning. So now let's begin. So before I jump into some questions, here are some strategies of the comparison model. You first of all, you draw a model at the equal stage. Secondly, you work forward or work backwards depending on the question. Thirdly, you find the relationship between the units and numbers. Lastly, you find one unit and solve for the answer. So now I hope you understand the strategies of a comparison model. You we may jump into some questions. This is the first question of a comparison model start at end. So start at end which means which means at the end stage means to draw a draw a model a equal model at the end stage. So for question one, Mr. Sumit has a total of 115 pears and apples. He sold half of the apples and 25 pears. In the end, he had an equal number of pears and apples left. Find the number of pears she had at first. So now that that Mrs. Sumit has 115 pears and apples. Both in the end, he had an equal number of of pears and apples left. He sold half of the pears. I mean half of I mean sorry half of the apples and 25 pears. Find the number of peers that she had first. So in order to find for the three units which are stated in the model, you first had to you had to to minus one hundred fifteen minus from twenty five, which you get ninety. So three units is equals to ninety. Then one unit is equals to thirty. So now. In order to search for peers, you must, it is unit plus 25, which means 30 plus 25, and you will get 55. So now, in now, now, Mr. Sumit, have 55. Peers at first. So now, as an example, I I hope you understand the comparison model start at the end. So now let's move on to the next question. So let's look at question two. Jack and Jill had a total of two hundred and sixteen stickers at first. After Jill bought another 24 stickers and Jack gave away 60 of his stickers to David, both of the same number of stickers were left. How many stickers did Jill have at first? So at the end, Jack and Jill have the, e have the equal amount of stickers. Then, then after, then, then Jill bought another twenty-four, and 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 Jack gave away sixty of his stickers. They both of them have the same number of stickers left. So let's assume these and these are units. So. So this is for 
2 unit plus 24 plus 60 it is equals to 216 so this is a, so 24 plus 60 is equals to 84 then 2 units is equals to 216 minus 84 then you get 132 the 2 units is equals to 132 the 1 unit is equals to 66 at first Jill didn't bought any additional stickers so therefore Jill have 66 stickers at first So this is a comparison model stand at start at the beginning. So which means which means you draw a equal model at the beginning stage. So this is for question one. At a party, there were an equal number of boys and girls at first. Halfway during the party, eight boys left the party and four girls joined the party. In the end, there were twice as many girls as boys. How many boys were at the party at first? So, at a party, there were an equal number of boys and girls, which means you draw the same model. Halfway during the party, eight boys left the party, and while four girls joined the party. So, in the end, there were twice as many girls as boys. How many boys were at the party at first? So now in order to find for the two units, you must bring down the 8 here. So for the two units, you will get 8 plus 4, which means 12. So for two units, it's equals to 12. So for one unit, it's equals to 6. So now that they're asking for how many party were, how many boys were at the party at first? which means 1 unit plus 8 because the 8 boys remain there the first so it is 6 plus 8 means you get 14 so the statement is there were 14 boys were at the party at first so now that I hope you understand the comparison model start at the beginning as an example let's move Rohan and Kenneth had the same number of cards at first after Rohan and Kenneth lost 36 lost 36 and 6 cards respectively Ken had thrice as many cards as Rohan. How many cards did each of them have at first? Which means the beginning. So now that at first, Rohan and Kenneth had the same number of cards. After Rohan and Kenneth lost 336 and 6 cards re respectively, Ken had a thrice number of many cards as, as Rohan. So Ken lost 6 cards and and Rohan lost 36 cards. So in the end, there were thrice, which means two, three times that Ken had. So the question is asking them how many cards did each of them have at first. So for two units, it is equals 36 minus 6 which is equals to 30 
So for one unit, it is equals to 15. So how many cards did each of them have at first? The question is asking. So for the beginning, you must bring down the 30 and you add, then you will get 36. So you must add 15 plus 36, so you will get 51. So eat, I mean, I'm sorry, Rohan and Kenneth. Have 51 cards at first. So now that is the end of this section or this video. I hope you understand all the comparison models start at the end or start at the beginning. If you have any doubts, questions or comments, please type in the comment box and I'll below the comment box, I'll send you some questions. You can try that if you like that. Until that, please have a nice day and a nice time. Thank you and good.